Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new openings video. And in today's opening video, I'll be teaching you about the Rui Lopez opening. This opening is probably one of the most easiest to learn, and it's also the best opening, or one of the best openings to have in your repertoire, especially if you're a beginner um, or if you're new to chess. This opening is pretty easy to learn, and it can destroy your opponent and leave your opponent um, confused if they don't know how to play against it. And um, yeah. Uh, let's head on into the Ruy Lopez opening. So we start on with e4, e5, um, we play knight to f3, knight to c6, and what makes it the Ruy Lopez opening is bishop to b5, which keeps pressure on the knight. Um, and if you were to take the knight, then this knight is free to um, gain these two squares as the defender would be no longer there if we were able to take the knight. Um, but the good thing here, um, since black has to kind of act fast is black can choose the variation we play with which does sound weird and doesn't sound really good for white but uh, these variations are a bit 50 50 if i do say so myself and sometimes it does um uh end up well for white so these variations they um are basically arrive um from two moves either playing a6 or playing knight to f6 and these three variations that arrive from it are either the exchange variation, the Berlin defense, or the closed slash open, um, Rui Lopez. Um, now, probably what's played um, out of these moves are a6, or uh, pawn to a6. But so let's start out with knight to a, a, f, sorry, knight to f6 and what it um, derives. So he plays knight to f6, and now we castle. Um, uh, the knight takes the pawn, and now we play pawn to d4. Uh, the knight moves, and bishop takes, and now pawn takes. And now we take the pawn, and now uh, the knight has to move, and now we take the queen, and then king takes queen. And this leads into the Berlin defense. And this was actually a position that was introduced um, in the late 1900s, by Vladimir Kranich and um, Kasparov, which are two very good grandmasters, um, probably, uh, arguably, one of the best uh, chess players. And um, in this position, white has a bit of a um, of advantage, not too great, uh, but not too small. And um, yeah, this is the Berlin defense. This is kind of how it exactly played out uh, against these two grandmasters. And um, yeah. Um, this is the Berlin defense, and this is what you play if you were to get um, uh, knight to f6. So instead of playing knight to f6, you are going to play the most common move out of these two moves, which is pawn to a6. Now, what pawn to a6 is basically saying, uh, the pawn is basically telling the bishop to either um, screw off or to take the knight, and so I can take um, the knight back. Oh, sorry, take the knight, and then I can take the bishop back. And the bishop kind of act, has to act fast, uh, because if white was to play um, a nonsense of a move like h3, then the pawn can take that bishop. So instead of uh, playing a nonsense move, we could either take or we could either move away. Now, the exchange variation, or what leads to the exchange variation, is taking. Taking the knight. Uh, pawn takes and uh we basically go into this position and this is the exchange variation uh this is the start of it and most of you most of you beginners probably would end up taking that pawn uh which does seem like a good move but is actually a very terrible move and it's a big blunder that would probably cost you a game um you take the pawn queen moves down to d4 and it forks both pieces which will later on make you move the knight and make the queen take the pawn, and now queen uh, blocks, and now queen um, takes queen, and now you get into a position like this. And since you're playing white in this position, it's not a good position for you. Um, and you've also lost your castling privileges, which is also a really bad thing to lose, especially in the opening um, section of uh, the chess game. And yeah, this is the exchange variation. But yeah, it, there's a big blunder. It's kind of a, basically a trick. Um, to not take this pawn. Um, so instead of taking it, you can set up your pieces, maybe open up your pawn, you can also um, um, play your knight, and you can also just straight away castle. And it's probably 
um, mostly best if you were to straight up a castle. Um, as you can also just set up your rook, blah, 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 stuff like that. So that is one variation, and that is the exchange variation that derives from a6. But there is two variations that arrive um, from a6, so we'll get on to the last variation of a6. Um, so instead of taking the knight, we can also move away. And you're probably thinking, we can move away to c4, and we can also probably move away to e2, right? So which one is the best possible place to move? Um, neither. And you probably are confused by that, um, because the whole point, let me explain, um, the whole point of playing bishop to b5 is to keep pressure on that knight. And we want to move away to a point where we can still keep that pressure on the knight. And playing c c4 or e2 isn't a bad move, but it kind of defeats the whole purpose of playing bishop to b5 and keeping pressure on that knight. So one move that does keep pressure is bishop to a4. And this leads into uh, either the open or closed variation. Um, and white can do many things here. They can open up their pawns. Uh, they can uh, play their knights or set up them up. You can also set up your bishop. And um, probably the most uh, encountered thing is probably playing with their pawns. And again, it's just attacking the bishop. The bishop has to move. Um, obviously, they cannot take because then the pawn just takes. So, um, in this position, uh, again, they can do many things. They can just set up their pieces. But again, they can actually also play their pawns. Now this isn't really recommended, and you can also see the engine doesn't like the fact that they are moving their pawns a lot. Now, in an opening, you don't want to move your pieces a lot. Now this is um, the set of a lot of openings, and this is what makes some openings um, different from others. Now some openings um, uh, make you move your same piece, like the knight, say like five times, or, or move your queen like four times in a row, um, which is not a good thing. You want to focus with your opening, you want to focus on getting everyone out and not wasting your moves on pawns while your opponent is um, doing the right thing and getting everything out. So moving this pawn wouldn't be the best idea, but you will probably encounter it. And um, what they are wanting to do here is probably play a4, which will lead uh, it into having your bishop um, some problems. So instead of that, you can put uh, your pawn up to a3. And this uh, allows this, if this was to happen, to make your bishop go on a2. And now your bishop kind of has that little peak hole, and it can act as a pretty good superpower um, to the whole game, um, which is be not being bothered, obviously, because it's a very, it's in a very secluded place, and it's pretty hard to attack from it. And um, yeah, that leads to many variations. Um, for white, again, if you were to leave in this position, it'll probably look something like this. They go here. Um, uh, they do here, here, um, they castle, and it will look something like this. A pretty intense game, I must say. Um, but instead of moving your pawns, black can, can get that uh, good advantage of setting everything up. So, yeah, I must say, there is a bit of a disadvantage and advantage um, of, uh, um, of playing Rui Lopez. Um, you have to be pretty um, knowledgeable in what you're playing and especially in how you're playing it. Obviously, in every opening, you don't want to just play the uh, move because it's an opening. Um, it doesn't make sense. You, you need to know the, 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 the theory and the knowledge behind playing every move. Or you're just going to screw up and um, not know what to do if um, a player was to play something else, which is a, a very common thing to beginners. Um, but yeah, the way Lopez is really, really easy to learn especially the exchange variation, which um, uh, gives you a good advantage to white in a close um, game. And if you want that, and if you would like an easy uh, game to yourself like that, then by all means, go ahead. If it makes you win, then it makes you win. Um, even if it's in the um, most uh, longest way possible, it's, it's still a win. But yeah, uh, that's the Ray Lopez. Um, I covered the three main variations. There are much principles and variations to it. But there are probably only two good moves that you can play in that certain position. Let me go back to it. This certain position. Um, and those certain p uh, moves that could be played here um, do arrive three variations from it. Again, it's the Berlian defense, the open and closed variation, and the exchange variation. Um, but yeah, 
that is the end of it. Um, as always, I'd appreciate constructive criticism. You can put it down in the comments below. If you like the video, subscribe. And uh, better yet, um, if you'd like to see more of this, then um, drop a like or um, comment what you, would you like to see on a video. And um, yeah, I appreciate you for watching. Or I thanks for watching, I guess. Um, and yeah, see you all later.